Today we are going to differentiate convex lens and concave lens with different points. Look at this. I have taken here convex lens and this is concave lens. And what is the basic difference between these two in appearance? It is thicker in the middle but thinner at the edge. Edge is thin and middle part is thick. But in this case, it is just opposite. It is thicker at the edge but thinner in the middle. Thinner in the middle and thicker at the edge. This is the basic difference, the main difference between convex lens and concave lens. That's why what I'm writing here, convex lens, it is thicker in the middle but thinner at the edge but just opposite of this concave lens it is thinner in the middle Thinner in the middle, but thicker at the edge. Okay, this is the main, main difference and it is actually the definition of the lens also now i want to show you some diagram and i want to conclude another difference look at this is convex lens convex lens converges the rays of light which falls on its surface whether they are parallel to the principal axis or not parallel to the principal axis. convex lens converges the rays of light but look at this in previous class we have seen this Concave lens diverges the rays of light. That's why it is called diverging lens. This is called converging lens. So we can say another difference. The same point can be taken as the another difference. What is this? Converges the rays of light. It converges converges the rays of light. That's why it is called converging lens. We can see this also. Now this, it diverges. The rays of light. Okay, this is second difference. Now, I want to show you some... Um, diagram which we made in previous class also this is the con this is the image formed by convex lens when it is at infinity it forms this type of image but when the object is taken a little closer b1 2f then it forms this type of image this type of image is different than this here highly dimness here just dimness only and so when it is taken more closer then look at this it, the image is magnified and when it is taken very close to the convex lens, look at this, when it comes between focus and optical center, then instead of real image, in the previous case we had real image, these three were the real image. Now when it comes between focus and optical center, then the image becomes virtual. What it mean? It means convex lens forms different types of image. The image may be real, may be virtual or it may be uh, magnified or dimness it forms different types of image it forms different types of image that is real or virtual magnified or maybe dimnest
erect or inverted etc this is the conclusion of the image formation of image by convex lens but we have done in previous class also concave lens always form same type of image similar type of image a concave lens always forms virtual image erect image look at this image is virtual here it formed at focus it is erect here also virtual image formed between focus and optical center and both the images are dimness this is highly dimness this is dimness and image always forms in front of the lens that's why what can we see concave lens always forms virtual erect and dimness image on the same side of the lens so we can write this way it always forms it always forms virtual erect image on the same side same side of the object okay this is this can be taken as third difference now now let's talk a little more in case of convex lens have you noticed that when a ray of light comes parallel to the principal axis it really passes through focus but in case of concave lens look at this when a ray of light comes parallel to the principal axis it never passes through the focus it appears to be coming from the focus since the ray of light is passing through the focus the focus is called real focus but here the ray of light is actually not passing through the focus but just appears to be coming from the focus that's why this focus is called virtual so its principal focus or focus is real its principal focus or fo focus is virtual we can write this difference as another difference so what i am writing here its focus is real and in this case its focus is virtual okay now let's talk about another point now we are talking about another point the focal length and power of convex lens is taken as positive focal length and power look at this in case of convex lens whether we where uh, we are uh, we see other image of convex lens in different cases or this image actually its power is taken as positive and its focal length is taken as positive the reason is very simple the reason is look at this uh, the focus the distance from focus to the optical center this is optical center this distance is called focal length and it is denoted by small f and this focal length is in the direction of light where the light is refracting in the same direction we have focal length but in case of this concave lens look at this light is refracting towards this direction and focal length has to be measured towards the opposite direction look at this from optical center to the focus this uh, is called this is the focal length of this lens that's why since the uh, focal length is in the direction of light so its focus focal length is taken as real and since the focal length is in the opposite to the direction of refraction of light that's why its focal length is taken as negative and its focal length is taken as positive and since focal length is positive its power is also positive and its power is the power of concave lens is negative that's why we can write on the point this way its focal length and power is positive
but in this case is focal length focal length and power is negative now the last point i i want to present six points only uh, this convex lens convex lens is used to correct an eye defect called hypermetropia it is used to correct an eye defect called hypermetropia this hypermetropia is also called long sightedness but this concave lens it is used to correct an eye defect called myopia myopia is also called short sightedness and this correction of this eye defect we'll talk later this concave lens is used to correct myopia convex lens is used to correct hypermetropia these are the basic differences between convex lens and concave lens